I've been coming here for about five years, coming here riding bikes, getting to know the inside of the trail system on, on trails. It just seemed like a perfect fit once we started doing swim run. And so five years could, had been grappling with how do we make this work to, to bring a swim run here to Texas. And I think after Casco Bay and Orcas and, and just growing the sport, it felt right. It felt like a good year in 2020 to add Texas to the racing. Dude, they are on They're fire. Crushing. <laughs> That's interesting instead of the cup. I like that. <laughs> Not really having ever been to Texas, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I expected flat Texas. I didn't expect hill country Texas. And it's, you know, you've got the cactuses, you've got the trails, and you've got really technical trail with the rock that's out there, but you also have smooth flowing trail. And I think the idea with this is like tons of accessible trail and accessible swims. To have the Colorado River running through here like this is the perfect scenario to put on a swim run. We had this idea that it was going to be sort of a lot more exposed and open. There was a lot of running through the trees. I mean, the Texas Hill Country is epic. such a good good atmosphere I mean everyone was smiling everyone's happy it's it's not as cutthroat as a lot of other competitions and it, it's pure enjoyment and I feel like there are times out on the the swim course today that we saw some swimmers struggling and you know and instead of blowing right past them you kind of stop and you make hey, sure that okay yeah you know um, and we're out there taking care of each other I think it's really unique okay. I feel grateful to be outside. I feel grateful to be with a good friend. I feel grateful that the event was put on and in a safe way that everyone could enjoy it and have fun. Everybody was super respectful. The start sequence was really good to just have everybody go off. Each team, every five seconds, that, that worked really well. I think it's just kind of the running and swimming back and forth. I think some of these other sports, you kind of do one thing at a time here. You kind of get high, you jump in the water, you cool off vice versa. And then if you're doing, you know, with the teammate, you kind of have that you know, relationship and kind of moving along together. We said, you know, the cool thing about a course like this is that you can almost come up with a different course in a subsequent year so that you don't give someone the same look. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about this venue is that there are so many options that we can mix it up and every year it can be a new race. So you can set, you could have done Odyssey Austin before and you can come do it again and you're doing a different race every time. 
I think from a racing perspective, the cliff jumps are, they just add a fun component, an adventurous component. That's something you would never find in a triathlon or a running race or something like that. It gives you something to take your mind off the potential pain and suffering that you might have elsewhere. And, you know, the reality is, for some, it was a 20, 30 foot cliff jump. For others, it was a step into the water. It was an optional thing for everyone. The line right now, you guys have done it. And they're Joris and Emily Benanger. And then Melissa Barto bringing Andy Hewitt across the line. You know, I think my favorite part of today was my favorite part of every swim run, and that's watching people come across the finish line just so happy, huge smiles on their face, just amazed at what they were able to accomplish and able to do, and, and it is. Anytime you watch the finish line at a swim run race, everybody is smiling ear to ear and having a great time. And it may be a, a tough day out there, but they're having fun, and at the end of the day, they're appreciative. And I think this being 2020 and every other event getting canceled, that meant a little bit more today. So yeah, John, congrats, buddy. I think that's a wrap on 2020, huh? I would agree. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Woo! That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>